Why is that wet? Smell it. Always smell it. Is it, are the papers wet? Yeah, like everything's wet. Papiri. Oh yeah, damp too. Not just wet, but like damp. We have our first ghost mystery. That's it. <laughs> It goes to the piss first. on all of our papers. All right. Well, I guess we'll just do it with wet paper. Okay. So what do you want to just stand here and just look at it? I'm just going to squat down. There we go. Hi. I think your, your head's in that shot. It's in this one? Yeah. Okay. Even when you're standing. You're oh, good. cool. Well, I'm just going to squat down anyway. Okay. I just feel like Be as I don't want to. Be as possible to anyone watching. Well, I don't want to assert, assert my dominance over you because I'm very <laughs> much an alpha. Very alpha. It always have been, always will be. Um. Well, hello. I'm Keith. John. And we're just here to do another I Just Arted. Uh, we haven't decided what we're going to draw. We're going to draw from the hat. Uh, arted I Just on Instagram. And Twitter now. And Twitter. We're all over the place. Tweetings. Uh, just doing everything. So that's it. And then we're going to get drawn here and we'll get talking about shit. I had a really shitty week this week, so it's going to have us plenty of material. And I have some really good topics for it. Yeah, I thought of some pretty good stuff. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so we'll draw our things. We'll each draw one. We'll put them together. We'll come up with some sort of art, and then we'll just BS the there end. Is. Okay, go. It's all you. Oh my gosh, they're so wet. That's what she said. What okay. you got? Western. Western spaceship. Done. Done. Absolutely. Rock and roll. Um, I don't know why, because the pipe's dry, like everything's dry. Yeah, that really but, isn't like a mystery. It's almost like somebody just poured water in there. Like, my mom and my sister stayed down here. So I'm thinking maybe something, like maybe they spilled something or something like that. Maybe, could it have anything to do with some of the things that were written on the paper? Mystery solved. <laughs> well, because some of them are a little out there. Yeah. You know? Some of those things we put on there. Are but like, then again, it's a hat that's like Indiana Jones hat. That'd be like almost like vandalism yeah. of a sort because that's your hat. Yeah. It costs you that's money. It. I'm suing. Yeah. Coming for you. Yeah, mom. Mom. <laughs> Too much. Disappointment now. Mom. Just because you gave birth to him doesn't mean you own him, okay? <laughs> that's like reverse feminism shit. <laughs> What a great direction to start this in. Okay, well, so a Western spaceship Western sketching. Spaceship. Oh, pocket. It's funny. I just had my hand in my pocket, and just yesterday I was telling somebody that I'm not a person that puts their hand in their pocket. I'm not. And here you are. Well, I said because I started working at Cutlers and Layton, sponsored by Cutlers and. Actually, I mean, we might have to cut that out because I don't want Matt to. It, anyway, we'll get back to that. So, but I started working at a sandwich place when I was a kid, and. My boss was like, get your hands out of your pockets, because you're making sandwiches, people don't want you filling around in your pocket, i.e. probably playing with your balls, which is yeah. exactly what you're doing. Getting ball sweat on their sandwiches. So he's like, stop putting your hands in your pockets. So at a very early age, I learned that lesson. So then as I went on to do other things in my life where you're not supposed to have your hands in your pockets, I always kind of just did well, it. It seems like it's kind of like a submissive action, like, yeah. you know, hands in your pockets. It shows like, lack of confidence. Exactly. Right. You want to be confident. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, it's a, as an alpha... That is my priority number one is to seem confident. So after I shaved my head, mm -hmm. like that's something else I figured out is like when people see someone with a shaved head, always put them on like, guard. Well, they like oh, they see that confidence too. Oh, yeah. Like I don't care that I'm going bald, I, and they lean into it, you mm -hmm. know, and so they kind of see that as like a confident person. Sure. Which is odd because some of the people we know that are balding, mm -hmm. I'm like. How is it that shaving your head is a confident move? Because wouldn't confidence be looking like a weirdo with right. a weird horseshoe thing and just like being just okay going with it? With but it. the thing is, is it doesn't. It, it really honestly just points out that you are genetically inferior. That's it. So like I said, it's it's kind of funny going back like being diabetic and dating. I always hate that like, and it's always date one that I have to be like, well, I got to take some insulin now because we're eating. And I've yet to see it really chase any girls away. That again, yeah. none of them ever worked out, so maybe that's the case. But I always feel like it just proves that I'm genetically inferior. 
That if we were on <laughs> do we were applying for a job and you have a guy that doesn't have diabetes and a guy that has diabetes, it's a no brainer. Yeah. Do you want little diabetic children? No. Like nobody wants diabetic children. No one wants diabetic diabetes. children are the worst. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we probably should start drawing at some point. Western spaceship. Western spaceship. I'm trying to think exactly how yeah. I want to do this. I really I just was gonna draw a big spaceship with a big hat on top of it. I'm probably like just still a gonna cowboy do cowboy hat on like on a, a basic ship. UFO. Uh, yeah. Just exactly how you imagine a UFO with a cowboy. Well, hat. I was actually gonna go full like starship. Like I was gonna go full long starship. It yeah, just had a big cowboy like, hat, but, and then uh, bullhorns on the front of it, obviously. Of course. Well, right, but then I was like, maybe I could do like a wagon, like a covered wagon -y well, type thing. Well, I was thing. thinking like like a, like a an Old West look. Mm -hmm. Like if you walk through an Old Western town, you have like the wooden pillar sure. look, you know. And I was trying to figure out, why is my brother calling me? It's your mom, she's already on to you. Right? Huh. I... I you're calling right in the middle of us recording. I told you we were recording today. You're going to be on it. You called specifically for this, didn't you? Yeah, that's why I was listening. Hang on a sec. Okay, you're on speakerphone. Say hi. Hey! <laughs> okay, I'm hanging up on you. You're famous. That's my brother. He's dumb. This is bro. So and he's I, not here to defend himself, so I can say that. Perfectly, yeah. And he'll just comment. He'll have to comment on yeah. the video, and nobody cares. No one cares about your comment. In a way. No one cares about your comment, Chris. You're going bald. <laughs> we just <laughs> talked about you, basically. Yeah. Whenever I see a guy my age that wears a hat, I'm like, you're going bald. <laughs> like, because they are. Always pop the hat off. Nobody wears a hat that isn't going bald. That is, no, we're not 17. Nobody wears a hat that's not going bald. Anytime you see a grown man riding a freestyle bike, if he is not doing bike tricks, he is a felon. That's it. That is a proven fact. <laughs> Statistically, I will stand by that. You like, pull if, you, if you can't do a bike trick on a freestyle bike, You've committed a felony. You are a felon. Like I said, we are down in, we're in the Ogden area, and so we see this on a daily tri, tri daily yeah. basis grown ass men and they're always white and i don't mean that as a race thing yes you do well whatever <laughs> always white white male 23 to 40 there you go on a freestyle bike always yep. in shorts doesn't matter the time of year always a wife beater yep um a wife beater or Next tattoo like or or some sort of Dark colored t-shirt. Exactly. Uh, dirty shoes. Their shoes are always dirty. Yeah, like I just, just beat to hell. Yeah, too. shoes are always like they just got done mowing 10,000 lawns in a row. The end. That's our stereotype for today. Start drawing here before my yeah. back gives out. I'm trying, I'm kind of thinking now, like, what if I did like a land speeder type thing? Okay. Just in the desert with... Gave it just a western feel. Perfect. There is no I think rule. That's what I'm doing. There's not the rule that says you can't do several different kinds on one piece of paper. We don't need to lock true. ourselves into rules. That's true. Write that down. By the way, you can't tell us what to do. No, nobody can. Uh, only God can judge me. Uh, by the way, if you see something running in my face, it's just sweat because it's. I don't know if it's ever that it's hot in here. If it's the lights, it's the lights. Is it the lights? Yeah, that I figured that out. Like once I turn on the lights in here, the temperature starts to go up. Skyrockets. Yeah, so we're gonna have to I'm, take a break. I'm like, straight right sweating in the over here. Yeah. Up right here. So this is gonna be a podcast now because we haven't started drawing anything. <laughs> well, I was thinking, I'm like, when you said landscape. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Okay, it's ninety-five degrees outside. And yeah. it's about 103 in here. Exactly. Plus, we got the lights on, so it's only going up. Plus, we're nervous. So, no, actually, I'm not, I don't right. actually feel nervous. Camera shyness. Let me put pencil on canvas here, and let's see if we can get going. Yeah, I, I figured I need to I need to start doing start, something. Start drawing. Well, what's going to happen is you're just going to... The video is just going to be us talking, and then it'll just cut to the end, and it'll just be a drawing that we did, like... Yeah, exactly. ...in our spare time. Okay, well, I'm going to try to start with a few things. I may not, I don't want to get locked into anything. I'm going to do my spaceship with a big cowboy hat on it. Then maybe I'm going to try and do like a metal, like a robot horse thing. Like That works. So I'm going to do kind of like a southern Utah desert, because that's where I'm originally from. Well, okay. And So you're going to hit a background in there, too. You're doing a whole landscape Oh, yeah. Landscape Absolutely. Thing. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, uh, now, separately, because you're going to, I always complain about my back. It's not that it's hurt or that I have like a spine problem. I think it's because I do workouts and my back gets... Store stiff muscle sore, and so I'm always just like, ugh, fighting yeah. it the whole time. When I was over at Office Max getting our banner 
our fancy banner printed, and uh, they've got these stools over there. I don't know if I told you about them, but like they're padded on top, and they're built in a way where like you can rock around on it, and it won't fall over, like it won't lose balance. It's heavy enough in the bottom that you you can still just sit on it hmm. and not fall over, but at the same time you can like roll it back okay. and forth and be okay. Okay. I'm thinking we may have to invest how, in How much were these? 50. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. Well, I was actually at Office Max without you looking for something else, and I was looking at chairs, and I'm like, man, this chair's cool, but then I'm like, $200 for a chair? Yeah. I, I just... I guess that's fine, because I guess if you're getting a quality chair, then that's a chair that's going to last you a long time, but I, I'd have a hard time dropping that kind of money for a chair. I have circular... <laughs> <laughs> well, I want everyone to know I'm winging this. I kind of have it in my mind, but it may or may not come out like I want, but hell, that's part of the experience, you know what I'm saying? That's it. That is all part of the XP, but we will definitely do it in this light pencil so that if I make mistakes, you can't see it. There you go. Ah? Uh eh? -huh. Uh -huh. And now we'll just be silent for the next 30 minutes. At least. And I'm going to put all of that silence into our podcast because Perfect. silence is essential. Silence is essential. For podcasting. I think we get caught up in this whole podcast thing about talking. Yeah. You know, and I think it really slows the whole process down. Well, and I was watching something. They were talking about uh, minimalist music. Have you heard of that? Mm -mm. It is weird stuff where, like, they just pick a sound or a noise and that's the entire song hmm. it's just like this this one sound so like a ball peen hammer just like or a pencil okay. on a clipboard like this so it's officially the laziest form of music that's we've it. ever come up with like i just made minimalist music right there oh like i said i don't want to be against it because i don't want to be that guy but it seems but I'm stupid, against it. Seems stupid <laughs> <laughs> let's see you gonna do one of those? Oh yeah, we gotta do one of them right there. Right share. Have some planets in the background. Tom, Tommy Bahama. What is Tommy Bahama? Are those glasses? I think they're glasses. So earlier this week, I had a bad week and I made an idiot of myself. So if anyone that knows about that personally, for, then I'm sorry for being a moron, I guess. So one of the people that I wronged, I felt really guilty. So I tried to like do a couple things, and they just, you know, how people when they. You, you, I'm a really big, res like, I need things to be resolved quickly, because if they're not, it carries with me all week, and I'm like, I just need to put a period at the end of this sentence. I'm a very much closure man. Yeah. But anyway, I was like, uh, I couldn't really get what I felt to be closure, so I was like, here's what I offer to the individual that I wronged. I said, I am going to seriously be inde your indentured servant. So I said for the next... I said four months, but I realized that was too long. I think I went three months, but then I should have just done 30 days. I am literally your slave to make up what for being an idiot, as well as the idea that I can receive some sort of like solace from this. Unfortunately, here's the problem. They didn't, they're not going to take me up on it. Not even just that they, they just can't come up with anything. And I'm like, anything. You need your remote lawn mode? I'm your guy. You need me to pick up dry cleaning? Like, I am your butler to make up. What I did. So that was my thing is I was like, I wanted to just try to like do that. Problem is, is like I said, the person didn't really just kind of come up with anything. But I was like, what I'm getting at is I think that actually be a pretty revolutionary way to apologize to people. I think so. Like, and here's the thing. I told somebody else about it, my idea. And they're like, that's dumb. I'm like, I, of course it's dumb because it's different. But I was like, how many times have we done the same things? Because if I apologize to somebody, it's just an apology. Apologies don't mean shit. Right. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Even honestly, if you, you're just you're just going up to them and saying like, two words. Right. And then, then what? Yeah. Well, like I said, it doesn't mean that you don't mean it because you do. And then you can't be surprised when you apologize and that doesn't just magically fix the problem because they understand that it's just words. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just saying is like, I thought that this was actually semi-revolutionary, like actually offering yourself at their mercy. I told them, I'm like, I'm your Uber driver. If at two in the morning you're drunk and you need somebody to get you, I am the person you call. And I felt like that that was a really cool idea. And I also, the other half of that was, I was kind of saying... I was like, um, I'm trying to say here, it'd be a great idea for a book. Like there was just that movie about those guys that 
played tag for like 30 years or whatever. Yeah. I was like, what if this friend really was like, I'm going to put you through the ringer. Like, I'm, I'm going to make, make your you. life yeah. hell. I'm going to make you earn everything you And that's did. what I was saying. That's why I was like, do it. Because this would honestly be the great premise for like, I mean, hell, if you really put me through the ringer, like, and I'm your endangered in, in, servant, like, do you know how great of a book this would make? Like, I could write about it and then make money. I even promised them if I wrote about it and made it into a book or something that I'd give them 50% of the proceeds. There you go. But I'm just saying, like, so what I need to do, you ready? So here's my plan. I need to really screw up with somebody that will take advantage of it. That will absolutely take you up on that offer. Yes. So anyway, that was my uh, retribution servitude. That was where that whole thing came from. That's what that was. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, you said retribution, retribution servitude, and I was like, that sounds like a really weird fetish yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> i was like um no. i don't know this is gonna Our fly necessarily podcast is going in a weird direction right now i'm well, already no, that's i am struggling with my thing what it's not coming out it's not coming out the way that i envisioned it so it's okay so, we'll just we'll revamp i'm actually like i'm starting to get super excited about when okay. i finish this i'm coming over Pod racer from Star Wars. Right. Star Wars pod racers. But yeah, I was thinking like like an old west train. Oh. But man. like a speeder, you know? Okay. And so uh, you know, the main engine's gonna be that big cylinder. Okay. And then just be off to the side, that's where the person sit. Okay. So we'll see what happens. See, I was gonna do a little like stagecoach, uh, space vehicle but then I realized I'm going to have to draw a horse and I've never really drawn a horse so I was like oh shit <laughs> so, so so now I'm going to ditch gone. that idea completely it's gone <laughs> it's out of here like I'm not doing that let me out on that if you've got artistic talent draw that put it in the comments below absolutely I want to see put it on our twitter or instagram or something like that just art did I just link me pictures of People that have drawn horses, like I said, I just... I, Quick smash bang that light button. <laughs> I'm good at mechanical stuff. That's why I stick with the robots. I yeah. get in real life and I'm like, oh. There you go. Just, just stick to the robot thing still. Robot oh. cowboy, done. Just keep drawing the same piece of art and then just yeah. put a cowboy hat on one of them yeah. and put uh, buck teeth on one of them. And so this time it's going to be a red panda, but with a cowboy hat. Done. And, and like guns and stuff. Just trace it. Sorry, everybody. Nice. I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> And that's our, that's our Western spaceship for you. <laughs> All right, let's see. You know, you know what I'm going to need to do? Can I have you Google me a picture of this old stagecoach real fast yeah, yeah. for some reference points here? I'm drinking an iced coffee. It's getting me nice and hyper. And where was that from? Grounds for Coffee in Ogden. Sponsored by Grounds... No, just joking. We're not sponsored by them, but we did put our card up over there. Yeah, we put our card, two of them, in that place. And yeah. I was being hilarious, so that was good, too. And what else? I love that place. This is not a promotion of any way, but I've always loved going to that place. It'll always hold a special place in my heart. Here, like, I'm just going to keep going to that same coffee shop. Oh, my goodness. This is where you start challenging your artistic abilities. That's true. Tis true. True, my dude. Okay. Whoa. Easy up. Easy boy. Take it easy now. Okay, here you go. Inspiration just struck hard. Yeah? Hard. You're my inspiration. That was Chicago, by the way. Chicago, everybody. Chicago. That's who sings it. Yeah, I was super mad at myself last time when I could not think of that. Because then afterwards I started editing, and it wasn't even, like, I didn't look it up or anything. Like, you sang it, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's Chicago. Yeah. Like, Damn it to hell. Well, I actually, you know, I've always liked Chicago, but I watched a documentary on Netflix mm -hmm. about Chicago. It's sponsored by Netflix. And uh, the funny thing about Chicago, when I was young, or even recently, I always thought they were old men. Like, when I imagined the singers of Chicago, they were always 40-year-old men to me. Hmm. But watching the documentary on Chicago, you realize they started making all that music when they were seriously like 18, 19, when all yeah. music is made because music is made by the young. I mean, yeah. they, artists get older, but they all, yeah, but but they do. Like artists will get older because there's musicians, but they all start when they're young. It's just like music is born from youth. I believe that. Like seriously, I do. Anyway, it was made by them, and they were young, and it just 
was odd to me. It was made by them. They were young. Young people are awesome. Young people are awesome. I hope last week you told your Gam Gam to watch this. Yeah, Gam Gam's everywhere. <laughs> Gam Gam's love us. I love Gam Gam's. Who doesn't? Smash that Smash like button. Smash that like button. Uh, well, my grandparents, so do they still have an age even if they're dead, or does their age stop? Some people were like, he would be 101 years old if he was alive. I'm like, okay, okay. somebody from a billion years ago would be a billion. Get out of here with that stupid <laughs> shit. They're dead too, so Yeah. good job. Yeah, congratulations. Way to do math. They're immortal. They're ne- they died, but they didn't die. Get out of here. You're my inspiration. There we go. There's another one. Sound clip. It's the same song, but... I'm kind of... I'm just winging it. I'm just seeing what, what's produced here. Yeah. I'm feeling like my... is a little off, but you know what? What do I care? Yeah, I think this time I'm going to do, like, more of a line art rather than a... Like, shading it in and stuff. Mm-hmm. You're my inspiration. I'm going to put a big... A big tooth on top of it, like, uh... I did not say you were... I did not think you were going to say tooth. <laughs> oh, what did you think I was going to say? <laughs> Sounded like you started with a D. <laughs> <laughs> big old D! <laughs> Boom! I mean, I've got a big cylinder here, so... No, no. We can get it done. I've always actually very much enjoyed doing concept cars. That was actually a thing I used to draw a lot of, was, like, concept vehicles. So this should be... I should be excelling at this more. Concept cars, like, I feel like everybody should go through a point of just drawing those. Sure. Because it's good to get an idea of how to do shapes and stuff. I was going somewhere else with that and lost it, so I tried tried to wing it. You tried, you were hoping that it would come back and it didn't. Yeah, I was hoping it would come back halfway through the sentence and it didn't. Now I have to explain it, or otherwise I look more stupid. Well, I I tell you what, that's one thing that I have learned as I've gotten older is I can honestly get halfway through something, realize I'm like, it's gone. And I'm like, well, the end. And then I just <laughs> stop. I'm like... Sentence over. It's... That's that's what we got, guys. Just Ron Swanson it. Speech done. <laughs> Speech done. Well, I will say, I mean, I thought for a second I lost this, but it looks like we're kind of... I'm kind of pulling it out. Other day. This is where I'm at so far. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. Is using a ruler cheating? No. Okay. If someone tells you using a ruler is cheating, they don't know what they're talking about. Okay. I've noticed I make a lot of, like, sounds with my mouth when I'm not doing anything. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like, I'll start amateur beatboxing every once in a while. Meatboxing. Yeah, meatboxing. <laughs> Meatboxing.com. You think that's a website already? <laughs> I guarantee it is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we were surprised by that other one, though. That's true. That's true. You know what? Now it has to happen. <laughs> Open up that incognito, just in case. Meatboxing.com Okay, so before I push enter on this, lock in your guess as to what it is. Is Meatboxing.com a website? I'm going to say <laughs> that it 100% is, and it's a gym. Is it? I don't know yet. Okay. So my guess is, is it's going to be like... Meat packaging? Packaging. Okay. Like meat packaging. Okay. We're both going to be surprised when it's like boxers with meat for gloves. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is becoming a returning segment on our show is I'll say something.com and then we're like, I wonder if that's real. This site can't be reached. Oh, so that's twice now that we've come up with these site names and they are available. Oh my gosh. There it is. If you get a hold of meatboxing.com, you're our sponsor now. Yeah. Meatboxing.com. <laughs> like I said, just like boxing gloves made of <laughs> just the bacon versus turkey, you know? I just don't see how there isn't some boxing gym called Meatboxing. Like, it just sounds like it'd be That's sense true. to me. Well, like I said, or, or going back, to you're right, it's going to be a packaging plant of some sort. Once again, I do not regret starting this channel in any way whatsoever. Vegetarian co-worker. Okay. I need to start with I don't have anything against vegetarians at all. Okay? You should. Don't have, <laughs> I don't have anything against, like, veganism. Like, if you do that, if that's what you, your jive is and you can stick to it, you know what? Good for you. Right. You know? Like, you have a system of morals or, like, a discipline, like... If you can stick to that, good for you, right. you know? But 
what drives me nuts is when someone tries to make everyone around them feel bad for not doing the same thing. Sure. And that's what this coworker was like. Right. Is she would, uh, anytime I bring up something that was against her opinion, she would just make you feel as bad as she could. Just like, well, I don't believe in that. Now that you're talking about it, it's offending me. And now you've offended me. Like, tries to make you feel bad for your opinions. Sure. And that's how this, this woman was. And so I'd avoid her at work. Right. And uh, this was back when I was a teacher. And all the teachers in our seg- section, uh, if somebody quit or somebody was leaving, uh, we'd all go out to dinner. To a meat house. Uh, well... I chose a meat house okay. specifically. Oh, because, in, intentionally to yeah, upset her. Because I didn't want her to go. I thought, I picked Texas Roadhouse. Oh. Thanks, guys. Sponsored by Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> I picked Texas Roadhouse because I was like, that is like, you walk in and there's a sh- like counter meat. of meat right yeah. there. Like, immediately as you go in. I'm like, there's no way she's going to come to this. Right. Well, she showed up. Right. And we all get Just to our table. Just to spite you. Just out, I guarantee it was just out of spite. And we right. sit down at our table, and the waitress comes over. And, you know, when the waitress comes over, you kind of have an order, like... Was she hot? You don't remember. I can't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but you kind of have an order. Like, the waitress comes over and looks at the first person. Like, that's the order you go in, either counterclockwise or clockwise. But that's kind of the unspoken rule, right. you know? And so the waitress comes over and says, Hey, what can I get you guys to drink? And without it being her turn at all, without anyone even looking at her, she says to the waitress, what do you have that I can eat because I'm vegetarian and I believe meat is murder? That's how she said it. Because it was back when... We have a great salad. um, Right? (laughs) Well, this waitress... Rolls in honey butter? I don't know. This waitress was just fantastic about it. She's like, oh, I've got this whole vegetarian section here, like, and any of these you can order without meat, and, like, was super cool about it, you know? So, waitress comes back, and we're all ordering our food, and that didn't piss the waitress off, but it pissed me off. Mm -hmm. I was upset about that. Like, you're going to try and make this waitress feel uncomfortable because she's here making a living? No. Screw you. So, we're ordering food, and we go around, and it comes to my turn. And I said, ma'am, what do you have on this menu that will cause the most homicide today? (laughs) (laughs) They brought me brisket. Pulled pork, half a barbecue and chicken, it was free. steak. Well, the the company was paying for it that I oh, worked okay. for. But like a huge steak, like there was enough meat there that I absolutely could not eat it all. But I tried my best. <laughs> I usually like I want to save some of this to take home. But that day I was just like I want to kill every one of these animals right now. Just because you said that. Now, let me add the Larson spin on that. What I would have done is legit. Because if, if I if I get into it, we're going full. We're going Charlie's Angels full throttle on this. <laughs> I would have then pulled up. So, cow, I assume you were eating a cow. Yep. I would have pulled up a picture of an adorable cow. And I would have literally set it on my phone and set it up next <laughs> to me. And then another thing is, one time I'm like, I really just want a hamburger. I'm like, I really want a hamburger. I just craving it. So, we went to Harmon's. Sponsored by Harmon's. And, Thanks, guys. Uh, some of the best meat you'll find on this. Uh, <laughs> so I want to put a Harmon's logo right here. <laughs> Bob Harmon, Randy Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm having a hard time figuring out how I want to do the place where the guy that drives this thing sit. Because yes, if this was real, if I get to it, I'm going to draw robot horses pulling it. The problem is, is obviously if it's, if it's a space type thing, I don't know that you want to have a guy sitting on top of it. But you know what, we're going to do it anyway. We're gonna do it anyway because I want to. I got, I've got mine figured out pretty good. Let me see. You can come over there. I'm excited about this. Yeah, dude, looking good. Right. Dark tower. There you go. It really just looks like a there space Volkswagen bus, okay. which is totally well, cool too. So that's fine. This is America, we draw what we want here. I kind of looking at, come here and look at this real quick. I'll just kind of do what I'm thinking. Well, on one, these are just going to be little thruster things. I was like, but it kind of looks cool if it's glass. Like, if the bottom half of this was glass, too. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not a wheel, but it kind of just looks but like it glass. it looks like it's a wheel. But it is a wonderland. Damn it. Yeah. Enough now. Oh. Tinder. Tinder alert, everybody. Beep. Beep. Okay. I'm sorry about that. 
Please cut that in out. Your head. Oh. oh no, sir. Absolutely stay Oh here. no, no, no. I don't think you understand what you've just done. Who is that, Cranberry? Oh. See, this is how it starts. You were here for the birth. The birth. The birth. I actually did that with my cousin. What? He, he you met his wife. Oh, no. Was it? Okay. He met his <laughs> wife. Guessing his songs. <laughs> met his wife on Tinder. Okay. You were there when he. Oh, I was man. there when he swiped right on her. Mm-hmm. Really he was like, oh yeah, and he like was, like, was like, yeah, I'm, right. I'm into redheads. But heads. apparently mm-hmm. not. And she's, you know, redhead, and so he was like, yeah, swipe right on that one. Swipe like, right on that booty. <laughs> I can only imagine what he said. Did he make any sort of uh, comments that he'd be embarrassed by now? Do you remember? Or is that... I'm sure he did. He said something. Yeah. Just rocking it. Rocking. The kids are famous. Right. Rocking out. With you can hear them in the background. Eventually, one day, when they're just living off the YouTube that. kit. Yep. And you'll be like, oh, here was your contribution. Uh, yeah, kind of you, you delayed yeah, everything we tried yeah. to do. Yep. That's fine. The universe yeah. is not fair. You know why? Because the universe Sketching isn't aware. Storm. That's it. Universe it's starting all aware, though. It doesn't care. Not aware, so it can't be fair. In your yeah, we could be rappers. I am a rapper. SoundCloud. Check me out on SoundCloud. Quick shout out to our sponsors. Spotify. Honestly. Tinder. Rodizio Grill. Um, Rodizio Grill um, Harmons. There's a Stagecoach Grill down here. Oh, is there? Stagecoach Grill. Stagecoach Grill, thank you. Thanks for all you guys do. Um, and by shout out from okay. our sponsors, so I mean we're not sponsored by any of these people. <laughs> they have no idea that we even exist. They'll know that we exist someday okay. when we're like. What's the other place downtown that's like Western? It's not Western, it's more Pioneer, isn't it? Like the Timber Mine or whatever? Something like that, yeah. And diaper bags, okay, I found out I I every company that makes anything for children or babies is just here to rip you off. 100%. Period. Like, they don't give a you F be. about your kid. Of course not. But if they can rip you off, they will. But uh, diaper bags are a perfect example. Okay. They will make and sell you this diaper bag for like seventy, eighty, ninety dollars Okay. Okay. Uh, and that's all it is—is is a bag. Daddy yeah, back. it's like this is just a carry bag. Wyoming, yeah, is that? And Wyoming it's not even as good, good as because we went and got a backpack. From the, right. We went to we DI, I found on. like a five-dollar yeah. backpack. Which is exactly where I was gonna say Texas go. Like, yeah. I bought a travel bag. They were like twenty bucks. I'm like, I just walk in, found a bag. Well, I can put clothes in this. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Like, and that's your first. Like, we can get diapers. That's what we're gonna use. We spent five bucks on a diaper bag. And then we've had it ever since, com. you know. And the reason why is because the death baby industry, industry is oh, I guarantee there to rip you up. And they know that there's always going to be babies. Yep. Oh, yeah. These are like so what? Cool. People are going to stop having babies? Get real. Right. Oh, I really like what I did here. Really liking what I did here. Yeah. Well, I was trying to think how I was going to do the little part with the little stage driver because I was like, it's a space thing. But you know what? I did it. It looks weird. It's definitely a hybrid. It looks like a Model T and like a Goodbye. thing, and, but this is where the guy sits that drives it. So he'll actually sit separate from the people in the coach. Yeah. There you go. So the, yeah. is it kind of is it kind of working with what I'm thinking? I mean, does yeah. it look like it's got like a sci-fi yeah. but a western. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's that's really well, that's obviously what we're doing. That's, it's got a sci-fi, a spaceship western feel to it. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I guess they'll have laser whips because oh, so they have like little sticks yeah. and the whips will come out with a whip robot horse. horses. So to see what I do. Just tell. Lasers. Laser whips whipping robot horses. Um, okay, it doesn't get any more sci fi. It does not get any more sci fi. Is that it? Wait, it? sci fi or kinky? Uh, either so way. Just yes. Whatever you want to go with. Yes is the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Why say no when it feels so good to say yes? In your head. Oh, Classic oh, rape line. <laughs> Classic rape line. Oh. Still going. Oh. Still rock song. Wiki. I'm so glad I didn't stop the camera <laughs> for those. That's going to be the outro. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Western. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ookies. And we talk.
body is stop. a wonderland. Yeah. Oh, we even have some topics soon. Probably left over. Stuck now. Sitting there. We'll use them next time. It is in, in my la cabeza. In your head. <laughs> in your head. Zombie. Oh, Zombie. Zombie. Hey, hey. Who is that? Cranberries? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm drawing just a little miniaturized version of my drawing. I'm, I'm kind of like kicking ass at it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just doing like a little mini version. So I can kind of show what it would look like with like the horses and shit. Yeah. Just rocking it. Just rocking. Rocking out with my... More words come after that. In your head, yeah, your humbay. Uh, they were gonna bring it, bring back uh, the magic school bus. Yeah, hop on the magic school bus. Would you have banged Miss Frizzle? Not old Miss Frizzle, but like the new one. Oh, is there made. a new Miss Frizzle? Yeah, the one, uh, the new one on Netflix. Okay, Google, new Miss Frizzle, magic school bus. Mm. Sup, girl. <laughs> Sup, girl. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with you there. Old Miss Frizzle, the, the original Miss Frizzle, no way. Yeah. Um, closing thoughts, remarks, anything you got going around up in there? Not really. Probably just thanks for watching. Yeah. We've had a ton of good feedback and a ton of, like, views. Sure. Subscribe. Uh, definitely feel free to, like, tell us feedback-wise what works and what doesn't. Because, like I said, we're, we always said we're already just in the beginning process. Like, we yeah. are in the tweaking process. Like, this is, this is... Episode two, so like we can fix, adjust, 
We can do anything. Well, and, and I think the same thing, too, and I think we talked about this before, is like, I mean, first of all, I'm pretty decent with my sketch. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I think it achieved the mark, but like I said, uh, we're just, you know, sketching and talking, and I do, we are going to try a few other little things, uh, little projects, yeah, little side had, tangent art-related things. Yeah, we've had a bunch of ideas for uh, other things we're going to do art-wise, other... Uh, uh, games we're going to play and things like that. I'm going to talk about the one that we're probably going to go try and do now. and we'll, Yeah. Because you know, if we don't end up doing it, then fine. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go down to downtown Ogden. We're going to try and find somebody that hopefully will participate and want to participate. And we're going to throw $5, five American dollars. That's not like, Canadian, not fake money. That's like four euros European. That's like 10,000 pesos. It's like... 40000 in Monopoly money. Yeah, well, more or than Canadian that, because how much paper would it take to be worth $5? That's a lot. true. That's a lot of Because a ream of paper is like five bucks, right? Yeah, so you, yeah, so you cut that into little shapes mm-hmm. like that. But then you got to pay the manufacturing fee for actually printing it. Doesn't matter. It'd Doesn't be matter. it'd be a lot of monopoly money. Yeah. But we're gonna go down there. We're gonna offer somebody five dollars, and we're gonna have a sketch pad and paper. Now we're not trying to get them to sit down for twenty minutes and draw something. We're just trying to be like, listen, quick sketch, a quick sketch of a horse or a dog or of a Mini Cooper. Uh, you know, we want them to just. I guess it could be accomplishing several things. One, it could be accomplishing their doing something for us, and it's art related too. It's good for us to just get out and talk to people and marketing yeah. for us. I guess. Uh, three is maybe it maybe it's somebody that hasn't drawn in a while and it sparks up the curiosity of wanting to draw. Get some going. Uh, you know, I think drawing offers it offer, offers uh, entertainment. It's a time killer. It keeps you occupied. It can be a stress reliever. And it has it has a whole smorgasbord of things that it does for people. Smorgasbord. That was a good word. Mm-hmm. That was a good one to stick in there. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that's why we're gonna try and go do one of those, and we'll try and get a good one hopefully, and then we'll edit a short video. And like I said, we're just gonna kind of approach. People that look like they may want to draw and get it done. Rock and roll. Okay. So, this is I Just Arted, episode two, Revenge of the Space <laughs> Western. I don't know where Shifts. to go from that. Revenge of the. I don't know. Who I don't cares? Know. Whatever. So, uh, like and su- subscribe. Uh, down in the description below, I'm going to put two timestamps one where we explain what we're drawing today. One where it shows the finished product, so if you're just here for the art, you can do that. But, let your friends know. Let everybody know. Tell Gam Gam to come back, because she still ain't doing shit. You know that. Call your we Gam know Gam. That. Call your Gam Gam. You know your Gam Gam's this close to not being around anymore. Right? right? You need give to give a her call. a call. Call her. All those people you've been avoiding for years, go give them a talk to. Just see what they're up to. Trust me, though, most of them will appreciate that, uh, will appreciate it, and then some of them will hate it. And then you tell them, I just watched this awesome video podcast, Mm -hmm. Space Western. Mm -hmm. I just arted. I think I'm pointing at the logo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. You can go back a little bit more. Eh, close enough. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Still going. Oh! Still rock song. Wiki! <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't stop the camera <laughs> for those. And then are you still going? That's gonna, gonna be the outro. Yeah, still going. That's it. Wiki! <laughs> 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 <laughs>